In this video, I'm going to be talking about why Sony FX6 footage when shot in S-Log3 might look horrible when you import it into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. Here's the story. Yesterday I did a shoot with my Sony FX6 and it was a simple interview setup and I shot it in S-Log3. I was using the neutral phantom LUT which I was using as a monitoring LUT and I find that this is a really good look to be able to show clients what the final image is going to look like. This morning when I imported the footage into Premiere Pro to do a rough cut, I was shocked by the image that I saw. And I was reminded that Premiere Pro has this weird thing with Sony FX6 footage when you shoot in S-Log3. So I thought I'd make a quick video just to let you know how to fix this problem if you are new to Sony FX6 S-Log3 footage. What Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro do right now is it applies a LUT onto your S-Log3 footage that you might not necessarily want to have on your footage. So to fix this problem in Premiere Pro, what you'll do is import your footage, you then highlight all your FX6 footage, right click, modify, interpret footage, and then this window will pop up, and then you go down the bottom and click color space override, click the drop down menu, click Rec 709, and OK. And then now when you drag your footage into a new sequence, it will then all look like S-Log3 footage should. And in Final Cut Pro, click on the Info Inspector up the top, and then go to Camera LUT, click on that, and then select None. And if you don't see the Camera LUT option here, make sure you go down here and make sure Extended is selected. And currently, as I shoot this video, there isn't a workaround to just turn off this feature that I'm aware of. So there's always an extra step that I have to do when importing my Sony FX6 footage when I shoot it in S-Log3. Hopefully there'll be an update for both Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro that will eliminate this extra step because it is really a little bit annoying. As you may know, S-Log3 footage is supposed to be desaturated and have not much contrast as well. And if you're shooting in 10-bit, then this will give you more information to be able to manipulate the image and get a specific type of look that you're wanting. The biggest problem I have with Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro applying this LUT directly onto the footage is that for me personally, I do a lot of video production for agencies and also in-house media groups as well. And when I'm handing off footage to them, I wanna know that they're gonna get the best looking image out of my footage. And having this default LUT applied to the footage when importing it into their preferred NLE is a bit of a step back because it doesn't look anything like what I'm shooting on set. And then it's an extra step to have to clear that LUT and then start your actual workflow for color correcting. For me personally, I like to use either the Phantom LUTs, the neutral one, or nine times out of 10, I'm using Cinematch as well. Cinematch is a paid plugin and is what I personally use for my video production. They're not sponsoring this video. I'm just letting you know that that is the plugin that I use to color correct the majority of my footage. I find it really helpful and I've done other videos on it in the past. So check out my channel if you haven't already and you can see some of the videos there on Cinematch. So hopefully if you're a new Sony FX6 user and you're shooting S-Log3 and you imported your footage into Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro and had a mild heart attack thinking that you shot in a Rec 709 profile instead of S-Log3, hopefully this has put your mind to ease and you've found the solution to get your image back to the normal S-Log3 look so you can then do your color correcting workflow from there. And that's the video. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos on video creation in the future.